Howdy, I'm Alan Williams and we're going to be working on uh, my RC track this year. I'm getting a little bit of a late start because of the weather, but I've rented a skid steer. I've never drove one before, so that'll be real interesting. Um, we're going to be running, there's a dirt pile back over there in them trees, and we're going to be driving back and forth across this field a few times. And uh, I want to thank my neighbor, he's letting me get the dirt for free. He's also the owner of Crazy Mountains in downtown Piqua. It's a gifted novelty shop. So if you get a chance, stop in, check out his store, or check it out on Facebook. Uh, if it wasn't for him, it would, you know, it cost me a lot more money getting dirt down at the bottom of this hill. Can be a challenge. Uh, the ground back here in this field is, is pretty soft, so getting a dump truck down here would be next to impossible. So, uh, you know, it'd be I can't thank him enough for his uh, generosity. So please stop it and check them out or check them out on Facebook. Okay, so I'm in the process of putting drainage tile around my track. And the point of that is, hey, to help keep the cars in a little bit. Make the track look like a racetrack a little bit, maybe. Uh, if you go to the professional RC racetracks, they use that drainage tile to lay the tracks out. And then they wrap it around stuff to protect the cars. Uh, you know, they're pretty tough, but man, when you hit something going 30, 40, 50 miles an hour, even tent scale, you know, it, parts go flying. So, uh, what I'm doing is I had this drainage tile from last year on this track. So, I figured I might as well use it. I, don't know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend going out and buying drainage tile if you're just putting one up in your backyard. Unless you're worried about losing the dirt, wind erosion. Uh, but I would, minimum, recommend that you buy um, small sections. You can get a small section of that uh to wrap like around trees the base of the tree car hits that you know parts go flying um, i've got sharp angles right here where i'm putting the corners up help keep the dirt in uh erosion's a problem i mean it just erodes it up rocks come up i got tree roots down in here so and i had the drainage tile so i figured i might as well use it i actually had enough that i can almost go all the way around the outside of my track too high so since I had that much of it, I'm gonna go ahead and do it too high. Otherwise, it's just gonna coil up and sit in my yard somewhere and be an eyesore. So you don't have to do that, but I would recommend that maybe spend a little bit of money, pad some sharp corners, uh, depending on which way you're racing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be racing counterclockwise or clockwise. Uh, probably both. <laughs> so I'm covering all the corners around here. Um, I'm taking these, I had some uh, half inch EMT conduit uh, for other reasons. I actually had, uh, it makes good stakes. They don't rust. Uh, you can beat them in the ground when the ground's soft. Uh, they go in the ground fairly easy. So they make, I've used them for fence posts for my garden and just different things. It's a little bit cheaper than some of the other options that are out there. And I've managed to, originally they were five foot pieces. So I just cut them in half. Uh, I had several of them. So I'm just taking them, I'm driving them down through the, through the, um, uh, drainage tile. As you'll see, I get down here and uh, I just take a knife. Uh, cut a slot in it some of it's already slotted some of it isn't uh and just drive the uh, emt right down through it and you can see it it's covering that corner pretty good get down here you know i mean there's still stuff there for the kids to hit but you know hopefully that helps um i was going to try to tie it together uh, with string keep it from separating but i'm thinking that that right there is just something that the tires are going to get caught in as i'm racing as you can see, I already went down through, tied it in a few spots, and then realized that that wasn't maybe the best idea. So, I'm not going to use the rope, and then we'll see what happens. If i got to come back later and do something different, then I will, but for right now, I'm not going to use it. So, I just wanted to show you how I was putting this, reusing this drainage tile that I already had to help protect the RC cars and then keep some of the dirt in the yard a little bit, thank you.
Danny. Oh, I get annoyed. Hmm? Dad, right by your foot. Right there is really tricky. I knew he was gonna flip it today. And as you can see, it involves the whole family. Well, we have the floodlights on and it's um, probably about 9.15, 9.30 at night. Most of the track's pretty much done. It has been an all day thing. You want to get a bath? Yeah, because kids are way done. Alright, that's my grandson telling me that um, he's ready to get a bath. So, we will get back with you later. Have a good night. Okay, as you can see, we got all the dirt in. Um, you know, I want to take a second. I want to thank uh, everybody come up and help me. There's no way I would have got it all done. My stepson did a phenomenal job. He come up here around 2, 2.30. Stayed and worked on the track pretty much non-stop until it got dark. A uh, friend of mine, Danny, came up. Caden's uh, dad, he came up. He helped out. He picked up rocks. He helped break the dirt. Uh, my stepbrother come over. Uh, Cluston, he comes over. And races once in a while, so he come over and drove the skids here for me for a couple hours so that I could help get some of this dirt raked out. Uh, I just can't thank all these people enough for helping out. So, appreciate it, guys. So, what we got left to do is I've got grass seed down through here where the cones are at. That's all, that's all grass seed. Uh... We got the uh, tracks pretty much all raked out and level. 
I do have to, I have a roller. I'm going to roll it down a little bit to pack it in. It's rained a little bit. Ground's probably a little damp. Um, I have to, because we bank these up more than what I thought we were going to, I have this tile that goes all the way around the track. So because these are banked up, there's sharp edges right here where you can catch uh, a tire on, mostly tires. Uh, if you're ever making your own RC track, always try to do everything you can to make sure there's no sharp angles that the tires or wheels will catch on. That will break a car or truck or whatever you're racing, buggy, uh, really quick, almost every time when you hit it. So I've got some here. I think I'm just going to cut that off. Um, I've got some uh, sharp angles right here. I might um, try to get some two liter bottles of pop and fill them up with water and pack them in there kind of like what they do on the highway or something just to add some cushion to it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Might not even have to put water in them. If I just put the cap on them and leave them with air that might be enough. A um, couple of these stakes here I'm going to leave because the dirt's low enough. I don't, hopefully the, the car don't get up there. So I'm gonna cut these off all the way across. Remove the, the steel post in the center that's holding the tile in place now that the dirt's there. Hopefully it'll uh, hold that tile in place. <coughs> and I gotta do that all the way around the track on all four corners. Uh, double check for sharp corners. I've got, uh, up here uh, you can see where I put that black tile around the edges and I did it down there uh, I may end up doing the same thing on all four corners I do not know I don't know how well that's gonna work uh, I'll just cut it off here and then kind of fold it back a little bit like I did in the other corners. Uh, we'll see. I just got all this extra black tile though. I won't know what to do with. I really hate to cut it up into pieces because next year I might do something a little different. You never know. So I've got on the back stretch here, what will be the back stretch, is I've got two piles of dirt here. I get the cars out and we'll make ramps and a landing pad, depending on which way we're going. Uh, they're a little low, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. I have to get the cars out and jump them, re rework the dirt a little bit. If all else fails, I've got some plywood in the garage and I'll augment the dirt piles with some plywood, get the ramps and stuff the way I want them. Nice thing about using plywood ramps, I build them in sections. If I get uh, tired of walking up and down the hill because the cars are flipping over I can always uh, just take the, the plywood off and set it off to the side I've got um, it's going to be hard to see I've got a tree stump buried right here I had a pine tree here when we moved in but it was in the power wire so we had to cut it down so there's a tree stump here. We tried to dig it out with a, bob, a skid steer while we had it. And it's just too solid yet. So we covered this all up with dirt. Uh, mounded it up. It's a little heavy going back, or a little lopsided going back that way. Uh, but we're going to drive on it and see how it works out. I got some dirt right here that we can use to fill in there. We just have to drive on it and see what we're going to do yet. So then I'm going to take a, I've got a roller in the garage and then I'll roll the, roll the track down and compress it down a little bit. It rained. It looks good. So I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to have to do. What? Huh? Oh! That might be about right. Huh? Well, I didn't. We didn't do anything on that side. Yeah, that's. Dad, that's. Them are weeds on 
the other side. Whoa. Uh oh, I lost Darren. She's.